Hello students, this video is how to use Google Sheets to set a linear equation, but more importantly, when finding your linear equation, setting your y-intercept equal to zero. Now, if we were using Excel, it's a lot easier, it's more robust, um, it has more options for statistical analysis. Now with Google Sheets, you have to kind of use a cheat. So in this particular case, I want to graph uh, mass uh, versus volume. So typically in your x-axis, that's the first column. Your second column is y, because alphabetically x and y. What I can do is I can highlight my data, and I can insert a chart. So go in here, insert chart, go over to chart. I want a scatter plot, and I go to a scatter plot. Now, if you don't like the way this looks because it's a little confusing, you can always click on your axes. For example, right here, maybe you don't want this 25 so squished. We can see that um, for our mass, we have a 24.94. I can change my maximum value on the vertical axis simply by clicking on the vertical axis and going max and typing 30. So I can see now that that kind of spreads that out. The other thing you can also do if you want is I don't have an axis trend line here. Go ahead and click that axis trend line. So you're set right there. Now if I go over here, I can do the same thing. I can see that this point squished because it's at 2.36 and this is representing two and it's hard to see that here because it's next to the zero. So I can actually set a minimum value of zero if I want and that'll kind of spread this out so now everything's easier to view so the next thing would be setting a trend line so if i go to series and i hit trend line that will give me a linear equation so right here i have linear right and i can hit use equation and it shows an equation and i could even hit the r squared but that's not really what this is about so i can hit that and i can move this up and what I notice is I get my best fit line, 2.58x plus 0 0.659. Now what I want to show about this linear equation and what is not always the best is it's giving me a y-intercept that's not equal to zero. So why is that not a good thing? Well, if I'm graphing for density, because essentially this is the change in y over the change in x, which is my change in mass based on my change in volume if i use the slope that gives me mass over volume which is density because i know that density equals mass divided by volume right so i can't really have i can't really have a mass if i have zero volume so if i want to get a linear equation with a y intercept equal to zero there is a cheat and this cheat will help you get that equation so you get a better line. So the way you do it, it is a function that you can use on Google Sheets and it's free. You can't insert it into your graph like you can with Excel, but what you can do is you can still get the linear equation. So how you do it is you hit Y and you start typing line and you want to get this line estimate, which is your best fit linear trend line via least squares and you want to click that and once you click that you want to highlight your y values you put a comma then you want to highlight your x values put a comma so this is showing you your linear estimate for this y and x uh, data so it's basically giving you uh, your range in your domain but the next thing you need to do is you need to put a comma and you have to type in false. Now by typing in this false, it's giving you a logical false value. That logical false value is basically setting your intercept equal to zero because we know that if there is no volume, there'd be no mass. Now you see those parentheses, just hit uh, backspace and then do a close parentheses. I'm gonna leave that up for a second. So again, equals linear estimate your uh you do your range your y value and then you do your domain your x values and then comma false and when i hit equals i get two numbers 
This number is my corrected slope, and this number is my corrected y-intercept. So you can think of this as, this is my m, and this would be my b in a y equals mx plus b equation. So now I could retype my equation, and essentially my equation is y equals, and I'll just round it, 2.67x. So that's my new equation. And basically, that's representing the density. So if I had one milliliter, because remember, milliliters is on my x-axis, and the y is dependent on this. If I had one milliliter, then my mass would be 2.67 grams. So this is giving me a density of 2.67 grams per milliliter. And that's what that sheet does. And if I look, that is the density of an unknown element called aluminum. So that's a way you can use it. So I hope this was a useful video. And if you want, you can watch the video that I'll have after this on how to do it on Excel, which is a little bit easier.